Previously on Safety Geeks SVR. Quiet, please! While I focus! Sir has honed the ability to cloud his own mind at a moment's notice. I was going to organize our files, or have that thing checked on my taint. The area between my anus and my scrotum. Oversharing. <clears throat> I came as quickly as I could. It's terrible, sir. I know, I just like produce. Allow me to help you, I am trained in the subtle eastern arts of safety. Oh! I know we're not losers, but when are we gonna win? If no one's too smart for safety, then how did it happen again? Safety geeks who get fooled once more. Keep your safe and sound. And this is why we must never run with scissors. Why, Master? Please, tell me why. Is it me? What? Is it? Because I'm not going to do it again! So what seems to be your problem? That. Oh my god. So, what's your problem? You're seeing that, right? It's all a bit fuzzy and vague for me. Could you um, talk us through what happened? Uh, all right. Well, uh, this worker, Pierce Johnson, was operating a forklift this morning and he tipped it over and it impaled him. Not Pierce Johnson, of the Whaling Johnsons of Washington, D.C. You saw that, right? That was really weird, right? Yeah, it is weird. We never have accidents. I'd say he tried to raise that thing up too high and it fell over, taking him with it. His fault, we have regulations. Sir, I have a double major in criminal psychology and forensic science that I got the hard way. Now I need the truth, mister, or I start taking it all off right here. Yes, I've seen her crack the most difficult cases. She once stripped seven-year-old of his crass society-imposed veneer on television. Okay. Uh, there's a forklift operator there who's been injured. I can see he... Oh, come on. Don't waste my time, sir. I can tell when a man is up to something just by wriggling in his lap. Now out with it. I'm telling you, that man has been injured. Look, I can read body language, tone of voice the subtle but complex interplay of your facial muscles. Now there is something that you are not telling me and you'd better fess up right now or I start stripping. Put you on report and shut this store down. Okay. Come on, say it, say it. All right, all right. Come on, out with it. I wet my bed. And there's a forklift operator hanging there in what looks to be a liability nightmare. Okay, now we're getting to the bottom of things. Oh, I understand you had an accident. I just admitted it! It happens every night! Hey, what about Pierce, who had the accident today? You hanging in there, buddy? Mm, uh, thank you for noticing. Help! <laughs> Can we put some paper towels down or something? <laughs> You want a muffin or something? Can we get him a muffin? Can somebody help me? It's not my call. 
Okay, he's really starting to smell. <laughs> okay. You just had corn. There's that Kung Pao chicken. It's got peanuts in it. It's like that song.